Welcome back to our Juvenile Vitality Institute. We have a very special segment today with Dr. Berger in regards to my consultation about the procedure Silhouette Lift. So Cece, tell me what it is that you're thinking about, what are you concerned about, what is it that you like to see happen? Well, when I look in the mirror, I mean, I, I'd like to see a little bit more freshness in my face, and I don't feel like it is, and I'm just hoping that the silhouette that you mentioned is going to help me with that. Okay. What do you think? Well, um, I think... I don't want surgery. Right, okay. Well, that was my, my question, because... Um, if we, we put some volume in your face, and I think you, you, you look very you know, nice as far as the volume, but maybe a little bit of repositioning of your tissue, in other words, a little bit of support of your tissue, and then bring your cheek up and bring your jowl up a little bit, that would really do the trick. The threads are going to come from this area to support the tissue in your cheek and give that a nice little tissue enhancement so okay. you get a nice little swelling and going to come all the way up and from here so that it's going to have this f effect okay? okay and then on your jowl they're going to be coming up from here and giving you this effect so you see that how that's going to improve all that tissue up there see how nice that mm -hmm. is so you're going to have a combination of this coming up and then this coming up that's going to look good yeah it's going to look very nice and again like the it. threads they're, they're all coming from this area so okay. they're they're coming up this way and this way. Now, you know, what I see in you is, obviously, you don't need anything dramatic. You look really good, but, you know, for what you're talking about, that little bit of improvement, that little youthful improvement, um, I think the, the silhouette lift would be perfect for you. So, also, of our, well, what kind of risk can I expect or worry about or think about? Okay. Or is there any? Yeah, well, this is a very uh, safe procedure. After all, we're just doing local anesthesia. It's no general anesthesia or IV sedation. So immediately, you know, this is a very safe method. Also, we're working just in the upper layer of the tissue. We're not being very aggressive. We're not going into muscle. So there's much less chance of any damage to any blood vessels or nerves. So uh, just from that perspective, it's very, a very, very safe procedure. Now, there are risks with any procedure, and so there are some, you know, hypothetical potential risks here. They're more in the range of, you know, you know, hypothetical and we've seen very rarely. So for example, you will have some swelling. This is kind of normal and expected. And bruising is usually minimal or absent, so that's not a big issue. On the other hand, you know, uh, bleeding can always happen in a procedure. You can get something called a hematoma, which is a collection of blood in the tissues, and that would have to be evacuated by a syringe and it creates a, a nasty black and blue. I've never had a case. You theoretically could be the first one, but it's highly unlikely. Uh, these are more theoretical risks. Infection is a theoretical risk, but it's a sterile procedure, and you take antibiotics to protect you. Uh, you start, let's say, the evening before, and you'll continue for about five days. Sometimes you can get a little numbness or tingling in the uh, skin for a period of days or weeks or months uh, because you may be tweaking some of these little peripheral nerves that supply sensation to the face, but these always regenerate. Okay. And that will come back. At the most, this will kind of be a minor nuisance for a short period of time. Okay. Um, and uh, as far as discomfort is concerned, uh, it's possible you might have a little bit of discomfort, you know, because after all, uh, there's been a very small amount of trauma in the area. But this would be more on needing perhaps some extra strength Tylenol, okay. uh, if necessary at all. Right. So those are the kinds of things that basically uh, you could uh, be aware of as being, you know, potential risks. So will it be smooth, or is there anything could happen when you pull the thread up? Or oh, well, one of the things that could happen, uh, you know, uh, is d uh, dimpling, and that's a potential thing that could happen. But uh, that's easily corrected um, by just even, you know, a manual kind of manipulation of the thread that I would do in a follow-up appointment. So usually you want to wait, you know, about a week to two weeks and then evaluate and see if there's anything that's like un uh, not smooth or any dimpling and that is something that's very easily corrected. And doesn't return? No. Once we, once we correct it, that's it. Will my body adapt to the threads or? The threads are 100% biocompatible, so there's no tissue reaction whatsoever. They're inert material, so there won't be any, there's no possibility, for example, of rejection oh, okay. of the threads. Okay. It's, it's inert, so when something is 100% biocompatible, the body will never reject it. Will I be able to feel them in my skin? Will I feel you, it? You, you will not feel them after 
a very brief period of time, meaning days or maybe weeks, because um, you'll have a little more tightness in your skin, uh, which you'll notice, but then after a period of time, when there's just a little bit of relaxation, then you won't feel it anymore. It'll just feel, wow, you know, it'll feel natural. Okay, what about how long can it, will it last? I would say somewhere between three to five years is, you know, kind of, or plus. Uh, the nice thing is that, let's say in a couple, three years, you know, they relax a little bit. You know, because look, aging continues and, you know, you know, it's dynamic, you're moving your stuff around. And, okay, so then we can always go in through the same place. We went in first and go in, expose the threads, and then just take a little, another stitch and just pull them back and then, t you know, give you more of a lift. And that just would take about 20 minutes. Wow. Okay, that's And then amazing. you're good for another couple of years, probably. What happens if one breaks, or would they break? Well, uh, it's, it, it's certainly a possibility, but more in the, in the range of, you know, possible rather than probable, and extremely rare. And these threads are really, really strong. So the chances of them breaking are very low. But if one should break, then it's just a matter of replacing the thread. So you'd have to, we'd have to go back and, you know, put another thread in. Would I damage so, any of my skin or no, anything, any kind no, of tears or anything? No, because the threads, as I, as I mentioned, they're 100% biocompatible and they're just very fine threads and okay. they can remain under your skin. I mean, there are other threads that we could use that are not fixed. They're free floating threads. These are other types of lifts like the, um, the feather lift, the Aptos threads and other threads that don't, aren't fixed. Um, and these threads stay in your skin without actually being fixed and you really very, only very rarely you know, move around or come to the surface. And if that's the case, they just can be pretty easily removed. Okay. Um, then it could be um, either removed or, not, or, or don't do anything and just add another thread. Okay, well now that you mentioned that there's other, like the feather lift and things like that, how do I know the silhouette's good for what I need? Silhouette is the best thread out there today because it has is probably the best um, supporting capability. I mean, this thread is designed in such a way that it can really hold and lift tissue like no other thread I've seen. So it's a very, very nice thread from that perspective. Do I need someone to drive me or can I do you come in here? Or? Well, uh, normally I prefer to have somebody drive you because I'm going to give you something by mouth to relax you. Oh, okay. You know, it's just local anesthesia, but you know, if you're nice and relaxed and calm, you're going to be just having a, a much better experience. Oh, okay. Well, how soon can I go back to work? Well, within just a few days. I mean, you actually could go back to work the next day. Thank you for joining us at Rejuve Life Vitality Institute, where you got to be a part of my Silhouette Lift consultation. <laughs>